So then we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant. And uh, this is the Aramaic English translation of the word. And um, in Metichiahu, the 28th chapter, he gave the uh, last order recorded on the scripture. And it uh, states, Go to the four, make disciples of every nation in mikveh them in the name and then the fact that he's saying it's not truly a name it is simply water baptize them or then mikveh them in the water and then they would simply then repent of their sins and they would wash themselves with his holy them and then obviously the word disciples would be set apart so then understanding the area of the set apart camp from the time of Moshe when he brought the people out of Egypt he started then the model of what the church would be when he gave these orders obviously it was after he sent them two by twos so they were sampled and they came back with a positive report as then you can always have in mind every time he speaks then he expects his words to come to him completed so then when we read he then states making disciples set the people apart okay because the situation is during this time of these last couple of verses from the 28th chapter we don't find faith mercy and grace so then the understanding behind is since you can't find those words and those are traits of the Gentiles then the obvious understanding is then he speaking of the set apart Hebrews because during that time he knew for sure there were many cities where then Hebrews were living in outside of Jerusalem in many areas around the country and other areas there were many cities with many of his own people so then the understanding of this area is then first understanding the tabernacle of the time of Moshe and when the church truly started and they practiced the first service for more than a thousand years. So then later he came himself, the creator himself came in the form of a person. Then he came and he introduced the first anointing of the second service then came a transitional time so then prior of Shavuot then he gave these orders stating making disciples of every nation so then since does not have the word faith grace and mercy disciple has to do with the set apart not Gentiles every nation he stated those areas where there were Hebrew brothers those then they would receive Ruach HaKodesh that's what he meant nations nations where the Hebrews were at so then first they would set up camps and then they would obviously receive Ruach HaKodesh they would be sensed functioned with a function from the seven spirits of Elohim and then they would shepherd the Gentiles outside of the camp it's very obvious and clear because we must understand what is the original plan first when Yahweh was teaching in the earth 
Then the people came to him, Is that proper for a person or a male to give a certificate of divorce to his wife? Because he said, Moshe gave us this certificate to give, but then what they were trying to do is, since Moshe was a representative of the Most High, so then they thought he could then be placed in a position where he would be tricked. And he by no means went along with their understanding. He said, no, because this was not at the first. You gave the certificate because you are very harsh people. And then, but it was not at the first. So he went and he explained then the original plan. At this situation, at the very end, we must have the understanding of the camp in mind. The model of what the church was to be in the future. So then we understand that the camp related with it because since you can't find faith, mercy and grace, then you have to understand those are for the set apart first. They would go in many nations and then they would find over there first those of their own. Then later they would then shepherd the Gentiles. Because how you are going to teach and to make a disciple out of people from pagan countries. You can't simply pray and then Ruach HaKodesh living in them. Because it was never intended that way. A person has to speak the holy language. A person must have the senses exercised as Shaul explained in Hebrews the fifth chapter. Plus the senses then exercised then would have to have a function. So then what he's speaking of discipleship has to do then with his own people then be functioned and sensed. Then what they would do in exchange they would then shepherd the Gentiles because that's why then the set apart people they were placed in a plan. They would be shepherds. So there are steps of formation. So then the regular Bibles when the people they read these areas they think it has to do with the Gentiles. But it, it is not. Truly not. Disciplined in the scriptures has to do with being versed in instructions. You can't verse a person in instructions if a person wasn't born with it. And then if you take a pagan person that doesn't speak the holy language because then the holy language comes then direct link from heaven so then they can function as such. So then the understanding is of every nation has to do with around where they were at. Because there were many thousands of the Hebrews. They were in many countries around them. And there is the understanding then from later times then because he gave them the order of going around the world and forming holy lands but it would be gradual so then they would reach first their brothers and then give them Ruach HaKodesh because every time you have an experience of miracles and then signs Observe it very intently. Those people involved and then continuing the service were then from the Hebraic line. Shaul and Shaliak went and he spoke with the Bereans. The Bereans were outside of Jerusalem. So it gives you the idea he was far away from home. This is what it means nations. 
He went outside far away and he found then the brethren. But they didn't have Ruach Kodesh at that time. And then Shaul began to explain and they began to verify areas of prophecy and what was promised. And based upon a testimony that was bearing truth via the words of Shaul, then they believed and they received Ruach HaKodesh, thus discipleship. So they themselves in turn would then organize themselves, they would form a camp in order to then teach the Gentiles. This was the plan, always was the plan. So then the Gentiles then they would be shepherd. Because the set apart Hebrews saved in the Messiah, <coughs> their task is to shepherd the Gentiles. Otherwise, true Gentiles, they can't survive. Because they depend upon the maintenance of the Levites of the nearing line. But, try to understand it then. Then he states, the authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. So these has to do then, obviously, with the Romans. When he said, Shaul the Shaliak, let every soul be subjected to the authorities of the kingdom to come government. This is what he's saying. He's stating, the authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. Shaul then, much later, he did understand where his authority came from and where what it sat. That's why he pointed them to the camp. Because the situation regarding the authority, there were authorities from other countries in the presence of Shaul, asking him many pertinent questions regarding then authority and kingdom. So a person not saved, the natural fact when you speak of a kingdom to come, when you say kingdom, obviously in the soul of theirs not being saved or relinked, the first understanding that they have, the first link is, oh, this person has answers regarding the kingdom of this world. So then, observing the many anointings and miracles he was performing amongst the Gentiles, they wanted him to answer some questions. But then came the orders from Ruach HaKodesh. Only go and relink the Gentiles. So then, the natural fact was he simply pointed them to the camps. But when you get there, make sure subject your souls. Because there were men and women asking him questions. That's why he uses then soul rather than males. Because as you study the Hebraic understanding, the males are in charge. Other countries, however, they have mixing. That's why he refers then soul. That every soul be subjected. And that's why then he used the word authority, because there were people from other countries asking questions. So what does it say to us today? It works the same way as before. As long as we have camps, then Yahweh speaks. Because those were his lasting standing orders. He is not going to deny himself, and whatsoever he spoke must be done as he said. He does not speak outside of the camp, and when he does, he has a specific purpose. But he can't speak so often, then would defeat the purpose of the camp. So they must understand, he speaks in his camps. Because then, the Gentiles are drawn to the camp, and they are shepherded. If he would speak enough outside of the camp, he would defeat the purpose of the camp. So then, as the prophets, they came 
and they pointed the people back to the instructions so as during these times we are living in. Times of trouble, financial trouble, nations going broke. And Yahweh then is sending people, pointing them to the original plan. It does not mean a person is a prophet. Prophecies were already spoken. We are in the line of the prophetic. But there are people then sent to simply point them to the original plan. So there is a link with it. And those are based upon the foundation of the instructions. If you begin to trace back then what is going on of those people pointing back to the camp. So then you point back to the camp. The camps are then the examples of Moshe in great numbers, many camps. Each camp then is based upon the solid foundation of the Torah, the instructions, and the prophets. The prophets were sent to point people back to the camp. And the camp means the Torah in the instructions, because they maintain it a hundred percent. There were changes from the first service to the second service. Those are explained in Hebrews, the Megillah of the Hebrews. But then the original plan, so then we can understand the function of the church era. Then we must point people back to the camp. Because we don't have very many people functioning in one of the seven functions of Ruach HaKodesh. Those are only exercised in the camps. That's why the prophets of old, they were told to remind the people of their duties. So they point people back to the Torah, the instructions and the prophets. What does it mean? It means returning to the camp. Because then the laws, the prophets, mostly, do show the laws, the instructions. So then this time we do the same. We point people back to the original plan. The original plan was then going out and forming holy lands around the world. So the Gentiles then would be shepherded. Afterwards, then, there was obviously the transition that was taking place. And then for quite some time, for many years, in fact, the Shilishim, they had a lot of work to do. They were explaining, they were expounding the scriptures. But I have this in mind. Their first task was then to go to the Hebrew brothers. Understand this point. He himself said because of the rejection of the people he would go then to the Gentiles but the Gentiles he spoke of would be the byproduct of having camps set up he did not abandon the plan of the camp itself those were plans already set from the time of old so then he would simply find those areas where there were Hebrew brothers and they would be saved and then they would receive a function, Ruach HaKodesh. And then they would go out and form holy lands. Then the Gentiles would be then granted of being part of the faith because they would be then grafted in the vine as explained before. So then, these days of many hardships, people are asking questions and the Creator wants to speak. But we must be obedient of His lasting standing orders. So then the natural understanding is encouraging the Hebrew brothers to start up camps. Because this was the design 
only because the world is modernized and it has changed a lot ever since does not mean the original plan would then change because it did not remains as it was before and the nearing line is being cleansed from the deceit people are understanding truly what the church means and only because there was then persecution back then it does not mean that the plan has changed because it did not absolutely did not that's why there is no clear answers regarding the church these days it's simply a lie they were deceived their scriptures is a set of scoundrelized parts of the original It's a part that takes the uh, very fact of the Creator Himself wandering around in the earth. He never wandered around in the earth. He was always in a temple. He was always there for more than a thousand years. He was never outside. Do you think in the future He would then be wandering around the world? No. They would take the model of his standing in a temple and then would have many camps around the world with the same model but then a savior that wanders away from the holy of holies unheard of and have in mind the uh, dark areas they can fake up very nicely a false savior a savior that comes around and, and he hugs people and people sense a presence but what is he doing outside of the holy of holies so you have to use your rational understanding of the scriptures it's a false anointing if a savior come to you and speaks to you no he did not it's a false anointing if you then receive a hug or any presence or vision of some sort of a showing of a spirit outside of the camp is a false anointing if you are then being involved with some sort of a ministry outside the camp that's false anointing each of those areas he himself said don't do it because what he is stating in this Metichiao, the 28th chapter, at the end of the uh, chapter, is precisely, absolutely precisely, regarding the set apart Hebrews that did not know yet receive the Ruach Kodesh. So then you begin to understand then the loyalty of the camps because you can't separate them. So this area then of the scriptures takes away lies from pagans trying to take over the faith. And then it's not only being hearers of the word, but doers of the word. If we know the truth and we don't encourage the Hebrew brothers to return to their camps, then we are not doing our job. Because we are not pointing to the original plan. So then we have work to do. We must encourage them so then camps are set up, then the Creator can speak. Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.